Welcome, Barberton Esports fans. We are here for our first match of the spring 2023 season. This is Coach Kane joined by Coach Mosey here. With uh, over here, we see we've got East, uh, sorry, Youngstown East High School, and all the way on the other side of Busan, we've got Barberton High School's esports team. We've got Asteria, which is Preston Maxwell. We've got uh, Mott, which is the new pickup. Ray Crowder, Insane Caden, Caden Fincher. Sleepless is Alec Wietrich. And then the last one running off there is Sunwolf, which is Ryan McInerney. And they are rolling out of spawn here. Hello, gamers. Looks like we've got a pretty standard Barberton Diva comp here for the Busan mid. Let's see how they take it in this first fight. Looks like... Uh, I think this here is, is a little bit split, and Barbara's just trying to punish on this. Yeah. They do the echo right away. Barbara moving as a unit here, picking out targets. Trying to collapse on the, uh, the support there, although the uh, the Ryan on the enemy team does an excellent job of isolating those. It goes down for it, losing the Ash as well. Looks like this is going to be a, a pretty clean um, first point for Barbara. Well, they stagger this. Oh, no, they already picked him. I was going to say if they were going to stagger the Mercy there, but I guess not. Looks like. Uh, Little, the Ryan made a good move there, trying to you know push Barberton back, but yeah, Focus Fire didn't have any support from the uh, the team there. The rest of his team was already starting to be dead. Trying to size up a plan here. It looks like we have a sneaky Sunwolf hidden in the back there. Is Ryan McInerney looking for a play, perhaps? Do you think that's somewhere that most teams would usually check, or just they they wouldn't even think to look there? I think so, but it looks like it's working out. They put a lot of damage into the um, Ash there, and the whole team dives onto the Ash Mercy combo. Mercy ends up going down for it, but they do give this point over to uh, the other school here. Yeah, it interesting. Looks so they got the one pick, but then they just handed the point over. Alec comes in with a, a diva bomb, doesn't manage to catch anyone. Fortunately, no follow up from Barbara in there as the bomb was, you know, kind of zoning everyone off a of point. Down goes the brig. Oh, we lose Caden. Alec Alex also getting low for that mech. Too. He might be out. Nope, Ray tops him off. Looks like no, not quite. I thought that was Ray going up there. There's the other Mercy. I saw a beam connect. We do get the res off here. It's a little bit dicey on point. Very interesting. Um, Looks like they're going to be able to sustain. Point has not fell back over to Barberton yet. This is a very interesting uh, a three -three kind of for all. Ooh, the low junker here. He doesn't have to get popped off slowly. A little bit of a lack of focus out. fire from Barberton. They're, they're just not sure which target to take on. We got dueling mercies here with two uh, two Valks coming out. It looks like the call is made to get out of there. Yeah, I think that is the move. They see the point. That, that, I, that felt like a. Um, and a very interesting play that it wasn't necessarily collapsed on by Barberton. They had an excellent first fight there, but ended up giving it up for a long, long time. Yeah, they, they let the point get capped. I thought they were just going to kind of, you know, take it back quickly. But instead, uh, when the bomb came out, there wasn't Ooh, any follow-up. immediate pick onto the enemy Ash there. Uh, oh, so low. It gets low. Off. That brings isolated. Look at that position. She ends up going down. Laser down. Hoping to get Alec healed up here. The mech's so low. Oh my gosh. It feels like they're invisible to the healers right there. That was strange. A anti-healed baby diva. Alex Beecher trying to get some kills. Ends up going down. Aiden trying to hold out. Clear point and finally take it back here. The uh, the jumper between. And the Mercy eventually goes down. Or right, that's a weirdly weird kill screen in the top right. Kaden. Uh, yeah, Kaden has the blue instead of the red. Visual bug. Ooh, that was a little bit of a blunder. Oh, close there. I thought he had it. Laser him off? Nah, at least it forces him out of the high ground. I'll we drink back in the mech. Hopefully we can keep the mech a little bit longer. We, we lost it. Uh, I, I thought they might get topped off in that last fight. I just didn't see it happen. Barberton's really known for these hyper-aggressive defense plays, and it, it usually works out quite well because um, they do get elimination. Set. Out of position, Mercy is perfect target. The exact thing. Looks like we're, they're split up again. Alec uh, zoning uh, two enemies there in the back line with... Um, Ryan again. Uh, yeah, with the flight, they're able to just kind of isolate that tar those targets while the rest of the team looks like they're uh, kind of dueling the junker up, between and they're supporting the, the back. Junker between the support, yeah. And this Mercy might go down for a second time. Oh, they forgot about her. Uh, I'm not so sure. Is she right here? Yeah, I just, they just aren't looking. They're just waiting for the next one. I don't think they feel the need to chase, and they're maybe a little nervous to let a cap go in and get more percent on when they gave so much to the first right. bit there. They only need one more fight and uh, and hold the point for that last 11%. So Press I have Q to win. Uh, perhaps they do have ultimates here. Pulse bomb, or not pulse bomb, sorry. Diva so bomb. Youngstown. I'd like to see bomb on point here, just force them off. 
Oh, Mott actually goes and takes out the enemy Mercy there. Very nice, good. He's got the Valk off. Reaper all coming out, but eaten by Alec for the most part there. Couldn't save Caden. Joker Queen ult goes out. I'm still waiting to see this bomb. There we go. Force them off the point. Joker Queen can't touch, and the round goes to Barberton. Yeah, a bit of a nail biter for a bit there when Barberton gave up that point. I, I don't think it was necessarily. I'd like if they hadn't given the point up there, but it was more that when they gave it up, they, they just didn't take it back for so long. I, I think they had a plan and they tried to execute on it, but it, it kind of went nowhere. Um, like they didn't really know which targets they wanted to fight or which position they wanted to take. They just took a random run around uh, the edge style of play, threw the bomb in, hope it connected. It didn't get anything and didn't really know how to follow up. I think throwing the bomb was fine if as they threw the bomb, they said, well, I'm gonna bomb and then we're gonna kill this person. You know, but I think it was, I'm gonna throw a bomb and then we're gonna wait to see what happens, then we're gonna go in. And that just gave the other team too much time to regroup and, and we didn't get a punish there. What do you or, think East could be doing better? And what would you like to see in this map? Um, I'd like to see East just hold together as a team more. They're getting split by Barberton a lot. Heal for their healers maybe a little bit more. And just, just generally not be out of position. That is an interesting sleep arc over the wall there onto the Lucio. Who does manage to live somehow. Yeah, I don't know how he walked that one on. Barton is kind of dueling it out here. In the trap behind, it Ooh, looks like the call is made. The, uh, the soldier in the trap the soldier there. is a little close. If that was a Reaper, I'd say he was in the right spot. But the soldier, I think he could have stayed at range there. May, uh, that was a beautiful trap by McInerney throwing the um, the jump rat trap on top of the May block. So as soon as she got Whoa. out. Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh, oh no. my god. <laughs> See ya, Alec. Off the map. That was he said, that was a, my point. That was a really cool charge. <laughs> but does it pay off though? Oh, they don't get the mercy. I think I it's think it's a four v three right now. The Ryan is coming back slowly. Oh, but they do drop one and end up seeding the point to Barbara. Yeah, Sunwolf get some really nice picks here. I I feel like maybe Youngstown doesn't know when they're ahead. Like I feel like they were actually taking Alec out there. I think they were in a position to regroup and re-engage right because yeah. that without the main tank or mantra there they, they could have just isolated one target at a time and you saw Barberton get down really low uh -oh. on all of their squishes. Ryan fell. This is where he should be leaving. He should be going back that way or what running away. What is he away. thinking? What is he thinking right He's now? He's thinking I'm gonna make a big play. Oh my goodness. And, and they don't catch it. They didn't see it. They didn't see it so it is a big play. And the 5k. Huge tire from Mick and Ernie. I, I, he, he went to jump up here, I think, and then fell off and had no cooldown. So I think the, the move would have been run around here and take the walk of shame back to high ground. Because uh, against a team that's a bit more aware of their surroundings, that would have been punished. But we can celebrate the tire while, while it's lost here. Add this uh, maybe 15 more seconds for this next fight here. Absolutely. Getting stuck in the One on here. point, and the team is turning to address it. They're not going to give up a point like last time. It's the May. May on the far flank there, interesting. With the Ram uh, Nanode here as well. Yeah, that is yeah. a Nanode Ram Atra. So he's he's just gonna force them away, right? There's nothing they're gonna be able to do about that. They get the Res comes on. Couldn't get this thing. I wonder if uh, there weren't cooldowns on the Junker. This is more split fighting that we were seeing in the, the, the first map here. Um, Barbara does come back eventually to uh, pick these two off here, but they managed to get a pick in main, and then as soon as they realized that they were split 2v2 off in the, in the flank there, they came back oh. to identify and destroy There them. they go. Oh, they can't get back on. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Really good isolation. May super out of position on point trying to touch here. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they were afraid. They should have waited for the rest of their team. Even making a 3v5 is better than a 1v2. Oh, the beat is not coming out in time, but a huge shatter from uh, East Canton here. Yeah, good counter uh, beat out. from uh, Barberton here. They, they knew it was coming and were ready for it. Caden pressing Q to win. Zone in point. Four seconds left. Pressing Q to celebrate right here. With, with one, maybe two heroes left. Yeah, there just wasn't enough time for Youngstown to come back on that. Um... So They're, huge plays both way. I, I I like the way this map went, but I I think that more of the split fighting that we saw from the the first map carried over to the second map, which is still very interesting play. Um, but I don't know if it's necessarily working out for East Youngstown. No, and I think the split play, at least with that Mercy and Soldier there, that was more. I think the Mercy was out of position and got a res off, and it became a split fight. Where otherwise it would have been an out of position Mercy. They were going to ignore a pick. Gotcha. Um, so I I don't know if you have different thoughts on that, but that that last bit of splitting was a bit more odd and then the rest of Barbara said we're split there's people over here let's just finish this small fight that our our 3v2 has over here and not do a 2v3 for our side absolutely tank tank. good call to come back together and uh get those guys out let's join uh 
let's join the team now on our next map, which is going to be, oh, let's see, what map was it? Do you recall? I guess we'll find out in the next round. I guess we will. Probably King's Row. That's the way it usually goes. Here we are in King's Row. Wouldn't you know it. Uh, we've got over here, we've got a couple changes here. This time, uh, no Ray on this one. Instead, uh, we've, Mott is out and Yi is in. And then we have subbed out Ryan uh, in favor of Tommy in this case. Tommy is one of our JV players who has uh, a pretty high skill ceiling right now for being a JV player. The really taken to Overwatch. Still doesn't have all the uh, concepts of Overwatch down yet, but has some nice mechanical play that we're hoping to see here in this second game. This match would be a nice test for his medal to see how he stacks up against the league play. Um, and we're curious to see um, player development especially. And you'll see a lot of uh, faces uh, old and new in this series, I believe. Looks like the Ryan's gonna do a pretty slow push. Maybe have nice some teleport, teleport over. Damage. Yep. Oh, another they, high, high ground. Oh, out of it got destroyed. They didn't make it. And Alex says, "I'm not waiting. I'm going in anyway." Taking it straight to East Youngstown. The hog gets super low on Youngstown. Does not end up. Oh, oh nice goes down. pick. We're implying pressure. I isolating from all the angles. Hanzo there, saved by the frisbee. They were a little they scared. I, li I like that they put the uh, window down though, just in case to guarantee that the Ryan stayed up for that fight. Absolutely. And leaving the Hog for last is perfect because Hog doesn't really do anything anymore. Uh, we don't really need him. Oh, let's take a look. Looks like they're going to try to stuff him here at, at the choke. Only need oh, one yeah, or two uh, card to cap. Trying to take it straight to them. Doesn't pay out for Barberton. They're holding right here. They've got four on. They're saying, you're not leaving this spawn. Oh, he, oh, he went shatter. for the shatter. The shatter would have held there, and they said, oh, we think we might have overstayed our welcome. But luckily, Barber had people on point yeah, back there. Punished for it, and they end up losing the uh, the sim as well. Don't know if that was the best play by Barberton, but it did manage to guarantee you know, the card. If the hammer had connected, I think it would have been. If definitely big if there. There's a lot of variables. Going did they hit the hammer the whole time? We were waiting to try to grab it more. It was barely available as soon as they okay. got there. It looks like uh, Tommy's taking a high ground, trying to flank out. Yeah, the he, he flanked out. Uh, he's going a different route though, because he got a little low. He's trying to go find the med pack or get back to his team. He doesn't need the med pack because he just he harvests just... some health off the tank. And the TPS. Youngstown not turning around to fight deal with that. Eventually he gets a 3k by Tommy. And it's going to be a 4k. Absolutely. Man, Tommy feels invisible to uh, the Youngstown East here. Got our sports riding the cart. The hog eventually says enough is enough. You're out of the game. It goes down with him. Looks like that was just enough to get uh, East Youngstown the uh, the whole hog as well. Death out here. Where are we at here? Just trading a couple blows here. I like a bit in deep there. Yeah. I don't think he's overextending though. I think he's taking a peek because he's Reinhardt. He knows he can. It's like Tommy gets in position, maybe he's going to play. Just trying to hold this as we collect the second half. They missed the hook. He knows they don't have it. He goes straight in, and with nothing to deny him, a 4K by Tommy already. Showing up the veterans of Barberton with the skills already. Hey, 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 we had a 4K on that tire last match. So good there. That's true. Does this Moira get out? Absolutely not. Alex says no, not today. A bit of a steamroll here so far from Barberton getting in cleanly and quickly. Oh, a res goes off, interestingly enough. Odd uh, use of res when it's probably close to respawn and they're so close. I don't Absolutely. know if that's worth it. I would say no, it's trying to pull it out here. Uh oh. And Save down goes the hook. Wow, that yeah. was a huge Oh, I, that was a miss on the... So a big hit there. and a big miss. I wonder if that was a fat thing or if he thought that there were a few more there and just wanted to... I mean, I would have assumed there'd be somebody there, but there was not. Little sim cluster. Barbara is holding them in spawn again almost here. Alex getting low. Not allowed to the touch lamp. the point. Uh-oh. Can't block that. I don't know that it matters. Beat came out just a little bit too late, but it doesn't matter. No one was able to touch the point. I mean, almost five minutes. Uh, on the clock here for Barberton. A very impressive uh, set of pushing in here. That was very quick. Barberton's very practiced at King's Row. They have a lot of those major strats down. They know exactly which comps they want to run. This is usually their first losing pick. This map right here. Yeah, they've played this map many times because Barberton does struggle on control more than any other map. Though push has given them a run for their money this season a little bit. I feel like, or maybe last season rather. So I'm curious 
how they will, uh, I don't know, adjust to um, the new sequence of things. We've got control for the first map every week again, and push is only the fourth map. So Barbadan, not as much of a focus on push this season as last. Unless there's some changes in the map pool and rotation between seasons two and three of Overwatch here. I don't know. I kind of like uh, the push style of gameplay because it reminds me of an old five control point where it's not necessarily you king of the hill style brawl it out. You get phases and waves Ooh, of fighting. Tommy on the, the sim fights. this time. Interesting choice by Barber Chen. Got the Zen here. And actually a, a very interesting setup by uh, Barber Chen. Armatra on defense with the usual sniper pair on support. Symmetra on the, uh, the rookie and Caden this time I on think, a jump grab. I think Ramatra can play this map pretty well since it's such a close quarters map. I mean, Ramatra is just kind of like a punchy Ryan in some ways sometimes I feel like. Right? He's a close quarters hero. I would agree. And going into a Sigma he has no trouble. Yeah, he's just going to punch him out. There he goes. Immediately takes him down. Takes down the Brig as well. There's a Reaper on the high ground over here. Will Asteria call it out? Oh, he's not noticed. If he has, I mean, they're set up for a flank, but they gotta wait for their team to be positioned. Their their team is not yet there. Barb is probably gonna see it, but nope. Oh, oh. Stereo sees it and takes just him down. takes him down. Walking down a straightaway at a uh, Zen is not a good move. Purple's here. We're gonna lose Tommy. Yes, indeed. We're gonna lose the Ramatra. This is scary. Uh, he does take down the Sigma. They don't have a Genji here for their main stage. The yeah. heels came out to help him off. Help him out there. Purple ran out just in time. We see this really nice positioning here by both of the supports, ready to kind of just control this choke and top things off, duck into cover when they need to. Love that positioning on the Ana. Absolutely. That's exactly where you would want to sit this whole map. I play a good vision of Adele as well. Now we've got, I actually kind of like this spot a bit better for the junk so we can spam into that choke. I, I, I Do you like this position better than over here? It, it's a little bit risky because you have to uh, worry about a over. sniper. And Ooh. now he's a little bit isolated. Can he get out? He did. He does. He's he's gone. He dropped low ground. It looked like. Yep. Oh, they're setting up the fight here. The teleport. I love this teleport from Tommy saying, "Let's go back to the high ground. We need to get up there, right?" Giving Absolutely. a pathway for our ram to get up there on the uh, on the speed. Only weakness is the distance at which he can punch, and that teleport is exactly where he needs to. Rock comes out, but I don't Ooh, think it Tommy goes down, interestingly. Uh, wasn't um, too safe in that hotel area. Oh, with this, it's just going to be walk, walk, walk and win. down any pushing chances they had. Oh, oh, the sleep. Sleep. oh, they woke him, though. Bad coordination there. He's going for it. He says, come on, come on. He manages to get the Ana in spawn. Backing off, giving them the space they need to re-push here. You don't like spawn. Can't they said, they call, I remember they called the Reaper out. They said, the Reaper's over there. He's just walking around. They said, I don't think this Reaper's actually doing anything he's he's going for flanks but nothing's happening with him either he's not executing on the flanks or he's not executing on them when his, his team can distract you know what i mean like uh, yeah with those shotgun classes you have to do barrel stopping it looks like he's going to try to make that flank play now um I tries to rematch see. against the zen yada zen does force him off the high ground Preston. he's ready to help if he needs to absolutely always have your support buddy right next to you and the rest of the team with the teleporter up there to chase him off the high ground and into the supports waiting for the kill or here's our ram a little up. A little on his own, but he has Barbara's teleported to get out if he needed it. Yeah, he does. I, yeah, that's true. He has the escape button, and with this uh, car wash sort of set up here to hold at the choke, it helps a little bit more damage, even if the supports, uh, or sorry, the DPS aren't sitting at choke with the ram. Symmetric or not symmetric watch? Uh, a Sombra swap, interestingly enough, from these jumps down. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to do much here in this fight due to the purple coming out onto the Sigma. Where's the teleporter to there? Ah, uh, yep, just some more. Just uh, right in that little nook there so they can get behind if they it's not spotted. They should be able to see it come straight at spawn, though. They First should. thing East Youngstown should do is destroy it. They, they could all, it looks like he moved it again. Uh, broke it down. Another thing you could do, too, is, you know, press forward and then have a way to get yourself out of here if you want to play it. Ooh, Ooh, our ram is super low Ooh. and purple. Oh, he's down. down. Two picks. Is this going to be where they retake? Preston dueling the, uh, the Lucio in choke there. Nice, the all comes out. Tire picks off their tank. Lucio's back in. The here. Junker was hiding there. Oh, nice connection on the uh, the bird there. Got the Junkrat throwing down grenades everywhere. Zen, Zen is uh, Nan out here, by the way, if you didn't see. He came out to just kind of damage this. I don't know if we got any picks out of it, but it certainly he kept him alive. He saved these uh, Youngstown, definitely. 
And then Ramaka comes in finally with the, uh, the finishing ult here to clean it up and push him off the point forever. Yeah, I'm curious how Ramaka's ult's going to shake out with that change coming up. I don't know if you saw that post today. Um, it, it, It's not nerfed in the, the damage sense, but I, I think it will be more punishing if you misuse it. Because previously you could get, connect with one or two and be alright and usually get an elimination. Now, based on the fact that it, you have to, it, it ticks down and there's a cap on its duration, it, it's going to prevent like the goat style, very super long yeah. brawls. But I, I don't think it's necessarily going to put an end to the uh, character. Yeah, I don't think so either, but I kind of liked where he was at right now. I kind of wish maybe if they had done the uh, the, the slow tick, they upped the uh, cooldown from, or the uptime from three seconds to maybe four seconds just to kind of see if that would compensate a bit. But I don't know. Either way. We're not here to talk about Ramatra buffs and nerfs, I guess. We're here to talk about Overwatch, and we're here to move on to our next match. Nice debut game from Tommy right there. Uh, good to see him, and we'll probably pull him up into Varsity again. They definitely have some potential. But we're going to take a look at some of our other Varsity players as we swap nearly our whole lineup here around for our next map. Maybe our final map, or maybe this team will start to come back a bit, and Barbara will have to beat them back down. We'll see if it's... Uh, uh, Youngstown East's chance to get a reverse sweep on us or if we can close out an even series here. We'll join you here in a moment. Here we are going into Rialto, everyone. We've got our final question mark map of the series. We've got a bit of a swap up here. So let's talk about who we've got different here. So last time we had Thomas Cox on... Uh, DPS, but this time we've got Sunwolf again, and we've got Caden, who was our DPS, over to tank on this. Alec Wietrich is out for this round. Yi is on support. We also have, oh, where is everybody? Ah, oh, there they are. I was going to say, we've got Taste of Rice, which is Brian Stamich up here, and you're crying right now, which is Hunter Roland on DPS. So we've got a totally different lineup, but I'm curious to see what it's going to look like. Hanzo in really far here. I wonder what's going on with this. Questionable. Camping that front door there, expecting somebody to come through. Realizes that we're going on the low ground, trying to get some picks. I think, uh, yeah, Hunter's just like, oh, there's a guy up here, and the team rotates and kills. Easily uh, punished. You never want to be uh, that close, especially when you're trying to um, sweep back the series, because now this uh, first point should be a roll. Yeah, it's a 5v4. May on the high ground there, not really being punished. Ryan uh, and McInerney taking some high ground. Ooh, I think missing the sleep, but he's purple. Yeah. Doesn't get out. I was, I was scared for a second there. I thought he was going to maybe go for that. Oh, no. Ramatra in the center of everybody there. Not really getting punished. Where's our tank? Oh, no. Our, our, our supports go down. Looks like it, our Ramatra was trying to go up and punish um, one of the enemy DPSs there. Didn't manage to connect on it. And our whole team got punished for it. Yeah, they decided to go back and spawn. They decided to go back, though, which I think is the right choice. They don't need to try to do a 2v4, even though... Um, Ramatra is a, is a is a 2v4 machine sometimes, depending on who's the 2. Oh, is Sigma that was the issue. Sniper tank oh, on point Sigma. of range. That same Hanzo gets dropped again. His body looks Sigma. like Ramatra. It does, it does. <laughs> that makes a bit more sense, then. Well, it makes a bit more sense why he wasn't able to... It's, it's alright. That is a Ana in the open there. Nice sleep under the uh, East Youngstown tank here. Do, or, do they manage to take it down? Oh, so close! There it goes. Nice finish from Ryan. Looks like we just need some cleanup here. There's a lot of uh, open position bodies here. Not sure who we're. I like Hunter on the high ground here, though. Absolutely good. They high call out the Hanzo over ground. there. Ryan peek in the Slow corner, realizing there. that there might be a better place to go, which is Ooh. the high ground. Hanzo winning the sniper duel. Looks Taking like the up. fights up here. Ryan trying I think to flush him out. He's waiting for yep. Gets the finish up there while the rest of the team is pressuring down here. Ramatra oh, in. being being kept up just barely. Nice Pace use of the there. Tire goes down, picks two supports. They weren't watching for that tire. They were too busy. Eyes on this. Ramatra. But with a couple ults, no Barbara problem for Barbara. Point. I did not get a chance to uh, spectate this match. This is all new for me. Ooh, super low Hanzo there. Don't want to try to re-engage. Ryan's looking for him. He's hunting. Does he manage to find him? He does not. Looks like not he Hanzo does get out. Oh, oh no. no, it does not. He peeked it. He, he said, I can look back in this room, right? Not against the big damage junk right there. Now it's going to be a 45 for East, Can or East Junk Town trying to push through here. Ryan getting really nice with these uh, junk, mo uh, the, the, the proximity. on the Lucio on the flank. Nice, nice. I wish I could have seen that flank. 
Ult comes out from Brian to help the fight move forward. The res I think I hear res going on. Yeah, Mikey yeah. taking the uh, the very important job of pushing the cart. Well, well I like the right angle now. that he's taking too to make make an impact while this is going on. Barberton forgetting that barriers do not block Ramatra punches, losing the uh, Hunter Roland on the Ash there on the top high ground. Getting forced back a little bit. Musu gets pulled down. Oh, with he's that, I think Ace Can is yeah, gonna clean this up a bit. And and the pick, oh, they're picked up, but oh, that's a lot. They were a low huge on that. Swing back. Nice move. I think that was a good read on how low health they were. At least they were all going to be pick upable. <laughs> Absolutely. Not a lot of damage mitigation there. For Would it like to see Caden? Standing. Yes, just a second. He, he stepped back just in time to give us a bit more charge or on the uh, cart there, I guess you could call it. Moving a little bit faster before the team of uh, Youngstown East can get into position. Trying to force him out, Jump Yeah. He, get out? he does not. I don't know if he was going to get out there. That was that was tough. That was a nice wall from East Town. East Youngtown. Or sorry, East Youngtown. East Youngtown uh, fight to take here. Oh, sleepy time. Take a nap. And the Hanzo wins the duel. I like they're going to protect them the asleep again. That's nice. Get the res off, though. Where is the Junk Rat for Barberton right now? He's over here. I think he Lost was. back over. Finally got flushed out from that off position. Ooh, Dragon, does it manage to pick anybody? Nope. No, it's I'm surprised. Low. I really thought that we were going to at least get one guy tickled to death. Fire Fire's in. out. Picks his support. That's all we need. With that May that was out of position, they should be able to start taking some uh, forward momentum here. Interesting that the uh, Ryan was super far Wow, that was game. close. Ryan playing aggressive because the enemy team is really not able to address him right now. They're just, they're just punished. Like, he's just punishing them. So what do you think of this composition for Barberton? They haven't really wiped or swapped uh, moving into this last point here. I don't know if this is really like a place for an Ash as much. Uh, Especially with these close quarters too. Like this Reinhardt is really going to start this, shining it right this now. This Bob's really going to help. But I would like to see a swap going in here. But Nano I mean, when, when he's been sitting with Bob for a while now, so I'm, I'm glad Hunter Roland finally threw it out here. If he dies, I'd like to see him swap to a different hero. But I, I don't know that he's had it. I don't know Ooh, that he's died. Oh, Ryan has had enough. Nano Shatter gets a 2K. Oh, Skaden, the boy who lived, Harry Potter. One HP, starting to slowly regen with those shields now. Will he survive? Shield dancing, shield dancing, trying to stay alive They're here. trying to keep alive. Huh? And Picks the him up in the area, goodbye. Not oh, this time. Oh, did not connect. Hunter does manage to uh, take Hunter's revenge still on here. The, the Hanzo there. Yeah. Trying to edge out this fight, although he is finally getting pushed back here. Sports here, they should be able to top him off. You're right, you're right though, I would like to see that swap. Um, I see I, Yi swapped over to the Lucio here, taking a, I think that's a good pick compared to the Ana, only because, like you said, there's, there's not a lot of sight lines when we want to get into this closed space. I think like a Moira would be really nice here too, if we would see a swap maybe. Different tank and different DPS as well. Um, I mean, we need something more for all of here. And uh, it looks like East Youngstown knows this because they're gonna get this ice wall and get more slams into this um, Sigma again. It, it, we managed to get out this time, but there might not be a next time. Oh, looks like uh, Hanzo goes down for- Tire is out, DPS big connect the on his support. Ryan's trying to hold his best to hold on with the uh, the overkill. Yeah, Tyre only needs to be connected with one for it to be valuable. Yeah. Oh, slippery wow. Anna. Slippery. Hanzo's back. Storm arrows don't connect. There's one one on one, like going in one by one here. They just want to touch. They don't lose. They need to finish Maze off this. Building for this last. Uh, he was trying to get the timing on the ice block there. With the oh, rock. they forget about the May. May's still up. Misses the uh, the shatter except for one. Face to rise, waiting for a safe moment to come out and connect when it was a little bit brawly there, like I'm waiting on the corner. Finally rolling into last. Let's see how they do on defense, what swaps we have. Like I said, I think those heroes were really fine for the first two points. It was the third one where when we saw a couple people get killed, um, we could have seen a few swaps there. I think a Junker Queen, I think that a Ramatra or a Rhine would have been good uh, when our Sig went down there maybe. Um, Absolutely, and I honestly wanted to see more from East Youngstown putting into their uh, their tank lineup, um, giving that Ryan really everything he needs. Because if you just hide behind that and you pump him full of heals, that point flight range, he's going to get two to three connects on his hammer and get shattered like every other fight, even sometimes every fight. Who do we feel out of? I mean, East Youngstown is East with some numbers for their name, so it's a little hard to differentiate players, but. 
Do you feel like any particular role or player on East is standing out uh, above the others as far as someone that were, you know, they're, they're making Barberton sweat it out a little bit here, or at least is uh, being able to get a few over on Barberton? Um, it, it's hard to say. I, I've seen a couple of nice plays from their tank and from East Tess, or East ES10, I believe it is. is it, that Was that the Hanzo last map, or was that someone else? No, the, the Hanzo, I think, is still 09. It's hard to say because they they don't have they have um school names I think they have school accounts either they all have uh, a really big fan uh, of the name East ES and numbers Five, I'm thinking it's uh, perhaps school accounts that they have for their team no worries if there is a uh, an outstanding play that you guys thought was uh, pretty interesting feel free to let us know put it in the chat below don't forget to like comment and subscribe of course <laughs> ooh nice early grenades on the uh, the support there for um, yeah. Up with that far, are they gonna get some slash rockets here? Crossing over, yeah. It looks like with that far, do we have the heroes to deal with that? I'd say so, sort of. It's really on Yi to, uh, yeah, make Yi's the most gonna of this. be the, the one. Or if uh, that if that far can't manage their boost, then it's gonna be on um, Ooh, so so on a roll and trade in the back line of defense here, and they end up getting the res for it, so it doesn't yeah. actually amount to anything. So, we're on the back foot here. Oh, sleep goes Early out. Early Suzu. Don't know if we have Biotic Grenade available now, so we're, we're slow for uh, walking this backwards. Fire comes in, connects, gets Yi. Sunwolf is, is just dueling it out with this, uh, <laughs> this Sigma Ooh, here. Super low, and eventually the yeah, uh, fire does go the down The just aren't here right now, so this is time to get out or die. Eating a rock, but you know what? They're pretty tasty. Oh, he's trying to fight back. He's like, oh, I'm not having this. My supports are under the horizon, and he's dropped, unfortunately. The other didn't connect. I like the switch to Kree by Roland here. I do think that'll help, especially considering the, uh, the, the Farah has been yeah. somewhat oppressive in these early fights. Yeah. He was really the only one who could deal with it, and he was he had his hands full healing. Kind of Barbara giving up this point. I don't know if that was the right move. Could they have gone and challenged that, really? I don't I, know. I, without the, uh, the main tank, I don't think so. Um, oh, you're probably right. It's gonna be a 45 up and over a hill. Hunter up on his own here. Where's our tag? Come out of that room. He's, uh, he's finally out here. You must poke them. Well, you can poke a lot closer so Barbara you can punch. A split now. Two on the outside, one on the inside. Yeah. Someone goes down for I, it. I no think they there. don't know what they want to do right here. Oh, he ult on the Ramatra. That's All right, exactly well, now they're just gonna walk, yeah. How high does this extend? Um, it's a ball. Well, so high enough far to kill out. that far out. Absolutely. As far out as you see it go forward, it, that's how far up it goes. I don't know if we needed the nano on him also, but I'm happy that, that we're using alts so that we're not just hoarding them. I would say it's a time-based thing. The Ramatra's ult is notoriously easy just to walk away from. The nano makes it so that you can't just walk away. Yep, that's true. Sunwolf gets the bird? Interesting. And then a pick onto the Mercy as well, who went for the red. They're by the trying way. Nice to take this fight 2v5 or 2v4. But I think this is a bad. They just to get Sunwolf anyway from an arrow through the window. They're not looking. You see those arrows coming through up top there. Yeah, you're right. They're not. They're not watching. The fact, there's this big hole in the wall here called a window uh, that people can shoot through. Uh oh, Hunter trying to solo at that point here. I like they were body blocking the point, but that should be the Ramatra more than anything. Correct. The DPS way up in front of the tanker person right now. Nice job moving out of the way, not getting beat by the geometry. Manages to uh, pick the trade for the, uh, the DPS there. Bad oh, day this, to, is, uh, yeah. this is quite the brawl here. Trying, Trying to get down. that Moira. Yep, Moira's gone. Yi is uh, taking some shots at the Bara. Barely keeping his uh, his main tank chopped up there. Oh, another arrow connects and an ult. I sleep, but he seems to walk back into the ultimate there after the sleep. That still is a fun sleep. Absolutely. It looks We're, like this is gonna roll around the corner here for East Coast yeah, Town. I think that oh, there's stuck with the uh, grenade from Hunter rolling there, but not enough to take him down on the far off. I are coming out. Let's see if it connects with anybody. No, it got oh, picked right away. Sunwolf was. Uh, right when that Hanzo was going over the top, is, is he looked at the tire and said, not today. I don't think that was his intention. He just had Storm Arrow ready and knocked. Oh, but he does manage to get the, um, the Hanzo anyway. High Noon, nice. Quick High Noon just to get a kill there. I like that. Didn't feel the need to hold it and, you know, celebrate for a few minutes. 
Fire now, quick, 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 quick. There. Oh, the, uh, the Moira manages to get out, perhaps. She does walk it off, and you know what? That's alright. She can live to tell the tale. She does have coalescence for this next engage here. Getting the, uh, the Hanzo again with a uh, stray grenade, it looks like. Spam up over the, uh, the river there. Well, he likes to peek corners when he doesn't know what's there, it seems like, from East Youngstown. I, I see him a lot of time looking around corners and, and getting picked. Sometimes it pays off for him if he's, you know, if no one's paying attention, but I, I don't know. And they're moving in again with the uh, the 4v5 against Barberton. They've got the ult economy. This should be uh, East Youngstown's, like, fight to win here. Unless Barberton can build some more ults. The Ram ult might be able to do, uh, do something fun here, but... They're holding on to it quite a bit, though. I think after this, Ooh, they they got after trapped this in the set of punches, the I, think the, I think the ult's gonna come out. Here. Oh, the res does not get denied, and the, uh, the Sigma oh. comes back up, and here comes his ult. He lifts up one. He's not enough to finish them, though. Wow, the they do get the finish, though. Offense Here's a mouth roll. Tire out, too. Creating a lot of ultimates here. Trading in the favor of Barberton here. They only had two ults to burn, and it, it they burned through three on, uh... East Youngstown, yeah, yeah, especially since they came out so late, too. Um, I would have liked to see them used pretty much instantly there. It's like, a little stagger here. Will they back off or are they going to keep going in here? This this is very punishable. Looks like the uh, Tracer is trying to build for the next pulse bomb. Just trading a little bit of fire with the other bomb. The Barbara's going to have two ults here, and looks like the pulse bombs out. It might be two to two for ults, but... I think Barbin's ults that are in the tank oh, are much more impactful. Interesting, diving straight on the fort there, forcing out the, um, the biotic grenade. There's the uh, ult for the Kiriko to say, hey, you can't fight us here. Though, really, Barbin chases him down and says, we'll actually chase you a bit further. Look at the Tanzo. He can just live. He can, he can live to tell the tale. I don't know if they know that ult. he's there. That would be an interesting spot to throw a dragon from, especially came from other Oh, he's going to try just straight down this narrow, I think. Ooh, clips the head of the uh, the McCree there. Does not get the yeah. one shot, though. Uh, this uh, Hanzo's holding his ult a lot longer than I feel like he needs to High noon coming out from uh, Hunter getting two there. Yeah, this is just going to be Barberton's win here, I think. To like, they're, 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 they're panicking because they're on overtime right now. But uh, because... Can anyone touch? Doesn't look no, like not only that, but they die with the Hanzo ult, never, never using it. I would rather a player use ult often and wrong than die holding it, waiting for that perfect moment. Just, just pick agree. one or two people. E I... Even just repositioning a team into a position where the rest of your team can get kills, even if you're not getting them, can be super valuable. I don't, I don't know if he just didn't, you know, he was waiting for the big play. I don't know. I, I would have liked to have seen that from East Youngstown as that, that arrow go out and give us 100% agree. But this was a, uh, a well-intended win by Barberton here. And I, there was a couple of really nice plays that we're going to highlight in a separate video. But otherwise, a really clean fight. It's got a lot of our uh, players from um, both teams, actually, including the the one sub we had up from JV to uh, play this first round or this first match. Yeah, definitely encouraging. Hope to see them up in the varsity games again. Though, of course, uh, we will see how the rest of the season shakes out. Hope to join you in the future. See you guys then, and go Magics!